Good morning from Casablanca. I just finished photographing the building which you see behind me, which is the Hassan II uh, mosque. And yeah, well, this is, I think it's the third biggest mosque in the world and the minaret, which I think is cut off in uh, this crop here. It's the highest in the world. It's more than 200 meters and it's so impressive. I mean, I'm now a few hundred meters away. And if you stand right before it, it's so huge and also with so many details really impressive and this morning at blue hour i was photographing it from around here and it was kind of fast with my tripod and everything but in the end the security guard came over and told me not to use a tripod so this is something to be aware of if you're ever in casablanca and want to photograph the mosque and want to photograph it from this plaza you have to be yeah a little yeah faster with your tripod you don't have to you cannot take your time as you usually would do i think so i got the photo i think it's not the perfect one no clouds in the sky but the building inside the photo makes the photo i think so this is really impressive and yeah now i'm headed back to the hotel and later we're on to fast So we made it to Fez and we are inside our new Riyadh, which is the Da Victoria. And same as with Essaouira, I can already recommend this place because it's really beautiful. And also our room, it's just, it's just great. And yeah, we're just outside of the old Medina here. And today we do the first exploring and I've looked on maps and really it looks like a maze. And I think it's not comparable to the Medinas we've visited so far. So I think here we're really gonna get lost, I think. So it's gonna be interesting how we navigate those streets and also what I find. So again, I'm looking for some yeah, nice alleyways. Some of the gates might be photogenic. So maybe some street photography, which I think could prove a little hard again because people don't want to be photographed and yeah I have to see where I can take a photo but otherwise I'm very excited and I can't wait to show you the Medina and also take a few photos. So I'm now here in Fez at the Blue Gate and it's morning, which is a good time to photograph it in my opinion because it's the evening, it was all crowded and yeah, now there are nearly no people and I photographed the scene during blue hour, so making sure to have everything sharp, background, the gate, so doing some long exposures, so I have not any people showing up and now I'm just waiting, going for some shorter exposures and when the right people walk through the gate, I'll just shoot some exposures to add a little bit of interest and scale. But till now again, as with Esauera, I haven't found the right um, set of people yet. So I'm just waiting a bit and also seeing when the sun comes up how it will look. But for now I quickly show you the composition. So 
So you have the mosque in the background, in the middle, in the center of the frame, then the gate with a little bit of the blue framing and I'll crop in a bit to yeah, cut off the foreground because again as usual I leveled the tripod, the composition as good as possible to not have any um, tilting lines in the frame so I rather crop a bit at the bottom and yeah otherwise it's fairly simple so I did focus stacking, focus to the background and the foreground bracketed exposures and yeah now I'm just waiting and seeing what happens when the sun comes up. So as you see behind me it's now 10 minutes later and they turned off the artificial light here which is kind of bad for the photo of the person walking through the gate but I think I got one and if not it also looks, uh, looks already good without people. But another tip I want to give you is if you're photographing architecture during blue hours sometimes the artificial light is very orange and this can dominate the picture. So you don't see many of the colors. Also this gate is blue and with the orange light it's not very clear blue. So a good tip is, or at least I think it's a good tip, just to leave your camera on the tripod a little longer until they turn off the artificial light and then take a few other photos. And later in post you can mix this a bit. So work out the colors and parts of the image by just blending in the real colors you get during uh, such a photo you now take. And yeah, now I think I soon have to pack up. I've been stood here for more than half an hour and yeah, now that there are more and more people, I think somebody will bother a bit because yeah, photos in face, it's not so easy as in all the other Moroccan cities. But till now, I had a nice time photographing this gate and as I said, the morning is really the time to come here. So we're back in Marrakech. It's now 15 days after our travels through Morocco started here in the city. And yeah, it's been a long journey through the desert, Esawira, Fez, also Casablanca. And now we're back here and yeah, I hope you liked the vlogs about Morocco, found some inspiration there to travel, also some tips about photography. I know that in some areas, especially the cities, I didn't vlog as much as I had hoped, but it wasn't so easy to pull out the camera always so the people don't always like it. So I mostly focused on taking photos which I showed you. So I hope you like those vlogs and if though so, don't forget to like and subscribe and yeah see you on my next travels. Bye!